Hello everyone, Gina from Exquisite Designs and today we're going to talk about making a fall floral arrangement. So for a base I'm using this beautiful blue base. This is actually glass, it's from Hobby Lobby. And I already went ahead and put some uh, gaps and crafts here and uh, on the sides I added some uh, Spanish moss. So for this I'm going to be using the color blue blues and baby peaks okay so let's get started i want this the greenery to look like if it's a lot uh so i end up buying two of these and this are from hobby lobby so they currently have them right now and they are on sale so this this greenery here they're for me, they're so hard to cut the, the stem. Um, maybe I need to get another set of cutters or I'm not sure. But anyway, look how beautiful this is. It's kind of green and grayish. So we're gonna start by adding this. And again, this was very hard for me to, to even cut, so. Let me see if I can situate this here first. Yep. Before I glue it, I'm going to see if I can add this other one here. And I'll show you what I'm doing. already in so I like where they are so I'm gonna go ahead and add glue to it and again guys this ones are gently put together so I always recommend my clients, like when they receive them, not to yank them, yank them from the floral because they can come unglued and it's clearly separated from the base. So I'm just going to go ahead and spread this one open so it looks like it has a lot of greenery. And it does, and again, it only took those two floral stems. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and add, uh, let me see where I got, some blue floral. Okay, these are from uh, Hobby Lobby. They have them on the uh, fall section. So let me see how tall I want this one to. So I guess I want them out of there. I'm going to have to remove these. Let me see. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and add this one. I just need to make sure that they're going in straight. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a pink. Uh, this is baby pink. Let's see where do I want this one to see it. So let's cut it. Let me see if this here. And 
actually this one I save and I'll show you in a minute maybe we'll end that easy one here let me see this I'm going to use some pumpkins that I found on, on this uh, what we call this pot three no, I don't think it is but anyway so I got them at Hobby Lobby so I actually like the pumpkin Those like local pumpkins This, oh, they have blue ones. Okay. So this is where I say that this one can come handy because you can just uh, add this one. But you know what? I'm going to add this one after I'm done with my floral to see where things are at, okay? Okay, I got this big one because I want it to be in front of the floral arrangement, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one. This um, oops. blues and baby pinks are so beautiful color combination. So let me arrange this. I'll show you in a minute. Got them a little crooked, and I like it, but it's not up. So we are going to do it. Up. that I have that I want to add a pumpkin I'll do it here I'm thinking right here so this is where I'm telling you that this one come handy so I'm going to use this let me see because I have this pumpkin here so I want this stem to go to dry a little and in the meantime in the front. These are actually, you can find this ones in my shop, guys. This one. Thank you. 
put them in So we said that we were going to put it over here, right? So that's where I'm going to aim for. to add more blue. I don't know if I should go with more blue, like if it's missing something on the side. And I know I want to add this color pumpkin here. So let me get using another stem from I just cut it out of another floral so let me see so we want this one here so let me see how I'm gonna situate this like this so I want this to come in like this okay. I'm gonna wait for that to dry a little thinking if I should go ahead and add I have this pound test so maybe this should do instead of adding additional blue <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> trying to see where I'm gonna where I'm actually gonna add it if I'm gonna add it but maybe I will I kind of like it over here let me see yep kind of like it on this side. So that's what I'm going to add in. Okay, so now let's go back to that pumpkin. Oops. We said we want it over here. I think I can cut this. Ouch, 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 and I'm burning myself. the other pumpkin and the pampas. Okay. So let's see. I still think that I want to add blue floral to this guys. Mm -hmm. I kind of feel that I'm missing something here. And I did bring more 
glue to it, okay? I think I'm going to go with glue here and on the side. So I'm going to... Okay. are falling apart. I'm just gonna glue them in there so I don't have that issue. There you go. Okay, so I'm gonna add it right here to the side. I need some blue over here. We're almost done with this because I don't want to make this a uh, big, big arrangement. And so far, this is what we have. And I'm going to cover the back here with more um, moss. I don't think I want to add anything there. Anyways, yeah, I don't think I want to add anything to that. So doing uh, covering with the, the Spanish moss it makes a lot of mess and I have a small plate here so I don't want to go ahead and do it now I'm gonna actually do it afterwards and I just wanted to show you how this looks and I think it turned out super cute and it was a pretty quick project so again I may do some uh, final touches so I invite you to please uh, visit my Facebook page for the final pictures and I hope you get inspired and that you actually like this tutorial. I appreciate your time and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.